Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. I'm Mark, welcome to my channel. This is just um, a grocery haul video. I've just been outside to the shops. It's absolutely hammering with rain out there, so didn't stick around too long. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please consider subscribing to help my channel grow. If you're a long time viewer, thank you for your support as ever. Before I show you the groceries, there's just one thing that I'd like to quickly say about subscribing. I've noticed on my YouTube analytics that the vast majority of my subscribers haven't actually clicked on the little notification bell. I think it's like something like 10% of all my subscribers are only being notified of my video. So if you subscribe, please click the notification bell. It's on mobile devices. I'm not sure if it's on the computer. If you're on a computer, it might be a bit different, but if you subscribe, please click on all notifications, then you'll get messages of my video uploads. If you have subscribed, if you are a long time subscriber, just check to see if you've clicked on all notifications. But 90% of my subscribers aren't being notified of my uploads. So anyway, that's some housekeeping out of the way. I'm going to show you some, uh, some of the food that I've just bought. And one more thing, if you stick around to the end of the video, I've got um, an important question to ask you about the direction of my channel. If you can spare a few seconds to answer that question that I'm going to give you, that's going to really help me out because it will be input from you. Okay, so let's see what I've just purchased. So, start off with the smaller items. I've just bought some Schwartz garlic granules. Um, I love fresh garlic in my food, but um, some of the dishes that I make, actually garlic granules are more suited to it. I, uh, I, should be, I should actually buy two of these at a time because I get through a lot of these. So garlic granules, always good to have um, this kind of thing in the cupboard, even though, as I said, I love fresh garlic. It's always good to have these because they're quick if you're, if you're pushed for time. Also bought some fennel seeds. I have discovered the pleasure of um, Scandinavian or Swedish polar bread. I had some polar bread delivered the other day. It's quite expensive because it's quite difficult to get hold of, so I'm going to make my own polar bread. Polar bread is basically like a basic sort of flatbread recipe with um, you use yogurt and you put fennel seeds in it. And well, if you've ever had Swedish polar bread, you'll know it's absolutely delicious. So I'm going to have a go at making that. Uh, some frozen blueberries from Waitrose. Now, a lot of people will tell you you should avoid frozen vegetables, frozen fruits, because they're not as good for you as fresh. That is technically the truth. Uh, the fresher you can eat fruit or vegetables, the more nutritious they are. But at the end of the day, there is nothing wrong with frozen veg, frozen fruit. It's still fruit. It's still veg. It's still good for you. It's just not as good for you as fresh. And the other bonus of having this uh, frozen blueberries is these are actually half the price of fresh blueberries. So I can buy two bags of these for half of the weight of fresh blueberries. So, you know, to me, that's a no brainer. If you're on a bit of a budget and money is, is a bit tight at the moment, and I know for a lot of people all over the world, it is, you know, fresh, uh, fresh blueberries are literally double the price. So I can buy 400 grams of frozen blueberries if I bought 200 grams of fresh blueberries, they'd be roughly the same price. So to me, that's, you know, it's a no brainer to me. I use frozen blueberries in my um, smoothies. I'm sure you've seen my smoothies before. I've been having strawberries, but usually I have frozen blueberries. So it's like two or three frozen bananas blended up with some frozen blueberries. And that makes an amazing, amazing tasting smoothie. Uh, just some bananas. I didn't get enough bananas. These are all that I got today. The shop was absolutely ram packed. So I didn't buy everything I wanted because as I was halfway around, I saw an empty cashier. So I thought, well, screw this. I'm just going to cut my shopping in half, pay and get out because it was packed. So these bananas will probably last me mm, three days, I guess. Um, so I need a lot more bananas. Some tomato puree, always got lots of this in the house. That This goes in my staples cupboard. Uh, I'm going to make a video very soon on my staples cupboard, by the way. So if you want to see that, 
please subscribe and click the notification bell and come back to see that. This is this is my favourite uh, puree. Waitrose puree is really good. I used to get my puree from the co-op, but uh, the co-op puree is, is a lot weaker, so you have to put a lot more in. So Waitrose tomato puree, use that on all my pasta dishes and uh, obviously my homemade pizza. You will have seen my homemade pizza in my previous uh, What a Vegan Eats in a Day video, I hope. I'm going to be making a video on, on how to make the homemade pizza from scratch as well, so stick around for that. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Got some cauldron organic tofu. I have a pasta dish that I have um, tofu cooked in chicken seasoning with spinach and tomato puree and uh, conchiglie. I'm not sure if I've pronounced that right if you're Italian. I apologise, I think it's conchiglie, but I, I always call it shell pasta, it's like little shells and it catches the, the tofu and the spinach and the uh, puree, so I'm going to be making that hopefully for my dinner tomorrow, so I'll drain the tofu, freeze it um, and then thaw it out and then cook it, because if you freeze tofu before you cook it, the tofu will cook much much better, so you freeze it, you you pat it down with kitchen paper and, and you know apply a bit of pressure to get any excess moisture and then cook it. So freeze your tofu first and it will come out much, much better. So that's organic tofu by Cauldron. This is the, the best tofu I've had. I used to get um, another brand of tofu, but I prefer this one now. What else did I get here? Oh, big bag of Waitrose spinach. Um, I'm not a big fan of spinach. Um, but I do like it in my pasta dishes. My diet lacks, um, lacks iron, so um, I need to be careful with my iron consumption. The vegan diet generally doesn't lack iron, but for me, it's, I think I've talked about this before, I, I tend not to like a lot of the foods that have got iron in them for some weird reason. It's not because it's got iron, it's just a coincidence thing, so I'm trying to get more iron into my diet. As I said, I'm not a huge fan of spinach, but if I put it with my pasta dish, the flavours of my pasta will kind of uh, disguise the flavour of spinach and at least I'm getting my greens and I'm getting the iron that I need. Uh, just bought a, this is my favourite bar that I like to have with my coffee. This is a kind dark chocolate nuts and sea salt. It's uh, completely vegan, high in fibre, uh, good amount of protein. I'm going to make myself a coffee as soon as I've made this video and have coffee with this. Um, I probably have too many of these that's, that's good for me, but well, it's a treat to have with my coffee occasionally, so, you know, not too bad. And then um, I had to pop over to the co-op because Waitrose didn't have any flour, and I just picked up a basic co-op wholemeal bread flour, one and a half kilos, I think it's about 80 pence. Make my flatbreads and my pizza bases with this, so... Uh, Always got plenty of flour in my staples cupboard. I think maybe sometime today I'll make a staples cupboard video because at the moment it's it's absolutely crammed full so I think that's the best time to make it. I'd like to ask all of you watching this uh, a question um, and if you have the time to answer that question then it will certainly help me to change the direction of my channel. So as you've seen I've just made a fairly small um, grocery haul video and the question that I'd like to ask you is in terms of grocery haul videos would you prefer to see um, a grocery haul video where I've bought lots of food or would you prefer to see maybe smaller grocery haul videos? So there might be two or three of those over a couple of weeks where I've got smaller amounts or there might be just one grocery haul video where I've got a large amount. So if you've got time to answer that, please pop it down below uh, in the comments section. Would you like to see a larger grocery haul video with more food? or smaller grocery haul videos with a little bit less. If you have got time to answer that, it will be amazing because, as I've said before, this is your channel and I'm trying to, I'm trying to cater uh, my content to what you want to watch. It's not so much what I'm wanting to be making, it's more what you want to be watching. So if you have time to answer that question, that would be amazing. As ever, little bit of boring housekeeping to do please like the video please share it please leave any comments questions or video requests keep the video requests coming please i'm writing them all down and i am getting through them i'm very busy at work but i'm trying to get through them 
Um, please subscribe as ever. Please come and join me on Instagram, veganmark underscore one But more importantly, please have a nice day. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Thank you for watching. Thank you for investing your time in my channel. It means the world to me. And I'll see you all again very, very soon. Take care, everybody.